my dears, I'm back with the discussion on Module 17 of Gen 006 entitled Ethical Challenges for Businesses, Globalization, and Business Ethics. Now, here are your lesson objectives. Okay, so at the end of the lesson, you will be able to understand thoroughly the ethical challenges in business and you should be able to illustrate and reflect the effects of globalization in relation to business process and ethical demands okay now when we talk about business ethics okay this is the you know the study of uh, appropriate business policies and practices regarding potentially uh, controversial subjects including corporate governance or or what they call insider trading bribery discrimination and corporate social responsibility or what you call your CSR and fiduciary responsibilities okay, the, the law often you know guides business ethics okay so every business must be able to abide by law by means of their business ethics okay but at other times business ethics provides a, a basic guideline that businesses can choose to follow to gain public approval okay now when, when we talk about business ethics guys okay it's it's um it's the guiding principle of most businesses in order for them to act or uh, operate accordingly to the law okay so it doesn't mean that if you have a business then you can do whatever you want in your business okay if you have a business then you have to have business ethics because this means that you are abiding by the laws of the land in order for you to be able to operate your certain operate a certain business okay and um yeah just like what i've told you a while ago okay this guides uh business ethics the, the law often guides business ethics okay and some other times it provides a basic guideline so that businesses can choose to follow uh, these certain practices which will eventually you know give them public approval okay so that's that's business ethics okay this is a way for businesses to to abide by laws and at the same time for them to be able to gain public approval if 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 the, the public views a certain business as abiding by its business ethics code okay so a lot of people will be able to patronize that certain business that you know maraming tatangkilik sa business na yan because it follows certain ethical codes for business okay so if it's ethical then definitely that's legit and if it's ethical if it follows uh, if a business follows ethical codes then it's you know by laws okay it's it's abiding by the laws of the land okay now uh, ethically okay safety comes first okay and then profit comes last that should be the guiding principle of most businesses when they want to operate in a certain locality or in a certain society okay so if if you are going to start your own business then you have to think of the welfare of the people that you're going to serve all right it's it's not about just gaining profits but it's more on you know providing quality services to people providing safety uh, providing safety to people when they purchase or when they patronize your business okay so uh, in order for a business to 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 flourish or in order for a business to thrive okay I think businesses okay businesses should not just focus on profit but you know you focus on how you can keep your consumers be uh, businesses must follow ethical standards in order for them to be able to keep their customers and then if they keep their customers then definitely they will last for a long time okay so the various issues that ethics target are you know diverse environmental concerns animal welfare animal welfare issues labor practices specifically labor practices okay so a lot of um, 
you know, here in the Philippines, a lot of, um, uh, what do you call this? A lot of uh, um, protests have been made uh, due to unfair wages, unfair labor practices. Okay, so these things are are actually uh, included in in business ethics. Uh, uh, business code of ethics okay and of course other than labor practices we have fair trade health concerns genetic modification patenting of genes clothing and so on and so forth okay so business ethics are you know more of like the the moral values or principles that play a role in shaping the business practices of companies or individuals okay so the question of business ethics addresses a wide range of concerns both you know within and outside the company as you have uh, seen or as you have seen here in the targets okay uh, ethical concerns often guide the ways that company owners must Know, treat their employees as well as the manner in which employees approach the performance of their jobs it's all included in the business ethics of of certain businesses okay at the same time uh, ethical concerns play a large role in the ways that companies interact with you know other companies other consumers and the society as a whole okay so the business ethics actually governs all the relations of a certain business to other kinds of business okay the business practices of companies inevitably have some sort of impact either you know positive or negative on the the, the world around them okay so if a company's actions have a negative impact on others let's say for example when a company engages in unfair competitive practices to to you know drive rival companies out of business or when a company creates a misleading marketing campaign to convince consumers to buy a product they do not need or that might actually be harmful then the business ethics of that company can be viewed as questionable okay so in this case all right in this topic okay uh, we talk about business ethics as related to uh, globalization okay, so when we talk about globalization this is the spread of products okay technology information and jobs okay across national borders and cultures okay so in 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 economic terms okay it describes an interdependence of nations around the globe fostered through free trade all right so corporations gain a competitive advantage on multiple fronts through globalization okay so they can reduce operating costs by manufacturing abroad or by by they they buy raw materials more cheaply because of the reduction or removal of tariffs okay so this is international business trade okay and most of all they gain access to millions of new consumers that's that's the benefit of globalization when you when you when you engage in international business trade when you engage in globalization you're not just limited to the the consumers of your own locality the, the consumers of your own country if you engage in globalization then you are exposed to the entire world all right and globalization okay is a social uh, as well as cultural political and a, uh, a legal phenomenon okay socially because it leads to a greater interaction among various populations if you go global Okay. you're not just being exposed to the the, your, the the people in your own country but you are also ex- exposed your, your business is also exposed to uh, other nationalities in the international uh, in the international trade okay culturally globalization represents the exchange of ideas values and artistic expression among cultures okay so globalization also represents a trend towards the development of a single single world court culture sabi nga nila business daw okay business uh, is 
uh, business constitutes a, a culture that unifies all, you know, all countries. Okay, so that's the goal of globalization. It's to the it's to the development of a single world culture that you know uh, that, that 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 is equal to everybody. That is you know accessible to everybody. Okay, politically related. Okay, so globalization has shifted attention to intergovernmental organizations like the the United Nations and the World Trade Organization. Okay, legally globalization has altered how international law is created and enforced. Since globalization talks about different countries doing business with one another, then the, then definitely the laws, the international laws that we have must also adhere okay to the to the uh, practices of globalization in order to you know to to accommodate okay the the trend of um, globalization all right now for okay so now let's try to relate globalization okay so to, to ethical challenges and for that we're going to be discussing on the ethical influence of globalization on the uh, diff different stakeholders okay so the ethical influence of globalization on stakeholders business ethics propel the stakeholders of company towards higher level of performance okay so globalization provides an enabling environment on this endeavor okay so shareholders employees customers suppliers competitors government and civil society are considered as stakeholders of businesses okay so uh, in this case all right so what are the uh, influences of globalization to the different stakeholders of businesses or, or the society so in in the case of the shareholders okay so ethical shareholders tend to take greater responsibility for the profitability of the company okay so the, the major shareholders of the the uh, the company okay would think about the welfare of the whole company rather than their own shares okay if you are an ethical shareholder you will take greater responsibility for the profitability of the company okay now for the employees okay ethical conduct enables them to integrate their personal goals with goals of organization since you are an employee and you are working for a certain company for example okay and and i think it's it's loyalty of the employee towards their company when they set their goals to the to the goals of the organization okay since you're working there in organization then definitely your 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 goals your personal goals because you're working for that company your personal goals must be in line with the goals of the organization okay that's how you will be able to help in you know in in, in making progress within your company or within your organization now for the government okay the government can provide better services to citizens check corruption and enable transparency in the processes kaya nga meron tayong uh, system of checks and balances okay in the government we do that okay we, we uh there is what we call the checks in the assets and liabilities okay statement of assets and liabilities all right so pinapakita yan para makita kung sino yung mga corrupt sino yung mga may, may undue um, uh, incomes in the government okay so the government also works together with the businesses and the companies in order to be transparent okay so, pinapakita yan ng mga businesses sa, gab sa gobyerno. Okay? Now, for the cons for the customer, they get, they get cheaper products but they learn to use them responsibly. Since globalization opens us to different, uh, different uh, trades internationally. Okay? So, we get to be exposed to different kinds of products. And, that, and, and in, in that way, we, we may be able to be, uh, get be able to get cheaper products 
and by that since we get them by cheaper products but we also learn how to use them responsibly okay now other then those four we have the suppliers okay so what's the uh, what's the ethical influence of globalization to suppliers so ethical suppliers supply higher quality products and seek long-term profitability this is what i'm talking about earlier when it comes to uh doing business you don't you know you don't focus much well of course every goal of every business is to gain profit but the but most businesses should focus more on um, taking care of their consumers okay taking care of their consumers how will they be able to take care of their consumers by supplying uh, high quality products if the consumers sees that the company has been giving them or the business has been giving them very good products and high quality products then those consumers will you know will be your loyal consumers for long-term profitability. Okay? Bakit pa ako hahanap sa iba? Eh, itong, itong nakasanayan ko na italaga eh, namang quality ang mga products. Dito na ako. Okay? So, you, you tend to gain the loyalty of your consumers. Okay? I think that's the first thing that you have to, to think of especially if you're going to put up your business is to you know gain the loyalty of your customers to you provide quality products in order for, in order for the consumers to keep on you know patronizing your products and your your business okay for the competitors all the competing companies get wider market they can also you know engage in collaborations in mutually beneficial uh, areas okay and the society, the civil society is better aware of the problems of the populace and can rapidly take up issues with the pertinent authorities. Okay, so if, if the if the business is in line with the goals of the society, okay, then the people, okay, the members of the society will be able will be able to help businesses, okay, in case certain problems may arise. Okay? So that's the uh, ethical uh, ethical influence of globalization to to uh, stakeholders now there's also uh, a topic on ethical influence of globalization on international functional areas okay so first and foremost okay ethical issues in the international functional areas as businesses has become you know increasingly internationalized okay so in ethical issues have emerged in international functional areas of businesses such as the following okay so first and foremost here we have the international human resource management so a significant challenge for management is to maintain objectivity in hiring promotion and compensation uh, we should be you know uh, this is kind of like related to the discussion on padrino system remember that guys okay we're in uh you uh, you parang ka, you hire someone because there's a connection between the two of you and you have you know they're asking for favors that's why you 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 um uh, give that favor to them because you you know each other okay and for the international financial management for long ter term okay sustainability organizations should engage in ethical practices fairness in trading practices trading conditions financial contracting sales practices consultancy services tax payments very very particular ties of bir okay Intern internal audit external audit are, are the areas in which ethical financial practices need to be Follow. Okay, so other than that, we have the international marketing. So the specific ethical issues are prudence of targeting vulnerable sections of consumption of redundant or dangerous products and services, transparency about source of labor, fair treatment, and fair pay to employees, products, or service transparency. Okay. Appropriate product labeling, product service safety and liability, truthful and honest advertising, fair pricing and distribution, forthrightness in selling. 
Okay, and for the production, this area of business ethics deals with the duties of the company to ensure that products and production processes do not cause harm. Okay, there was a certain issue before, okay, we're in. Uh, the government asked a certain uh, company to close, uh, I think it was a factory, okay? I, I'm, I cannot remember the, the name of the factory, okay? The, the, the government has conducted investigation on, the, on that certain factory, okay? And they found out that this factory, okay, is um, causing a lot of health problems to the workers okay major toxic ang kanilang environment that's why a lot of the a lot of the employees are getting sick okay and based on their investigation a lot of the um, a lot of the employees have gotten sick okay to the point of hospitalization that's why they you know the government has worked together with different agencies in order for that uh, factory to be closed okay and for the ICT, new technologies also present some cultural and ethical challenges to firms operating in the global environment. There may be varying views among countries on goals, decision-making approaches, information sharing, and trust, and many other cultural differences. Okay, so these um, the, these things need to be um, taken care of. Okay when we deal with our businesses okay so it doesn't just stop with us putting up our business okay when we put up our business we have to think about a lot of things and one of those is the business ethics okay business ethics when we talk about business ethics you talk about the business being legit the business being uh, law-abiding company and the business being you know um, being in accordance with the moral principles of the society okay so hindi lang benta benta okay you also have to think about the ethical principles governing uh, business ethics okay so for those who are planning to <laughs> put up their own business in the future please be mindful of the business ethics okay <laughs> all right Okay, so I think that, uh, yeah, that ends my discussion on Module 17 of Gen 006 Ethics. Okay, so I hope you have learned a lot in our discussion. And if you have questions or things that need clarification, please don't hesitate to send me a message in my messenger. Okay, so now please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more updates on our discussion on ethics. Thank you very much and have a great day ahead. Goodbye, guys.